In our review of the PD Movie Follow Focus system, we use this to power the Follow Focus, which is a cheaper option to buying a V-Lock battery. Let me explain why. Welcome to the phone look. This week's episode is sponsored by Rocketstock.com. Check out their creator video element pack for logo reveals, end screens, sub animations, and much, much more. All designed for vloggers and content creators in mind. Links in the description below. The PD Movie Follow Focus needs to be powered by a battery that has a D-Tap connection. A D-Tap connection is widely used to power cameras, lights, and other filmmaking equipment and can be found on a V-Lock battery. The problem we had with buying a V-Lock battery is that they're very expensive. We don't have any cameras or lights that need to be powered by a V-Lock battery and since we're only going to be using the Follow Focus for a few projects a year, having a battery sitting around for most of the year which is worth more than £150 is not really an option. After some research we found this alternative battery source which solved the problem. It is still a V-Lock battery and it has a D-Tap output but it uses Sony MP batteries to power whatever is plugged into it. Since we own a lot of MP batteries, this saved us a lot of money and it works great. The next problem we had was mounting the power source to the camera rig. There are 15mm rod rail mount systems you can buy for V-Lock batteries, but again, they are very expensive. In fact, they are more expensive than the batteries, and you still have to buy a battery. So we attached this 15mm rod mount we had laying around, which is from a company called Smallrig. Links to all of the products will be in the description below. At first, we attached it to the bottom of the power supply and mounted it to the rods like this. We soon realised to save space it would be best if we mounted it like this. It also meant we could still attach it to a V-Lock mount and power other pieces of camera equipment with the Sony NP batteries, not just via the D-Tap connection. There is another solution to our problem and that is to buy a cable that converts the PC barrel connection that connects to the motor of the follow focus to a DC cable instead of the D-Tap connection. With this you still need a DC power supply which is similar to the one we use to power our cameras. And you can find links to that video here. This cable was not out when we purchased the first option, but works out about the same price once you've purchased all of the parts. V-Lock batteries have their place and they're very much needed. They're super reliable and give you enough power to run your camera, monitors and lights all day. This is roughly the difference in cost of the power supply versus the V-Lock battery and the V-Lock mount, depending on when and where you're buying it. If you only have one piece of equipment you need a power, consider buying this battery plate. It really solved our problem. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up or down if you don't. Hit that orange lens cap to subscribe and remember, achieve it one shot at a time.